Here are the installation steps for induction welding Sentinel PVC membranes to the field surface of a roof. First, you should know that PVC membranes that can be induction welded are bare-backed. They are reinforced with an enhanced polyester reinforcement and are available in two thicknesses, 1.5 mm or 2 mm. Before starting work, make sure that the environmental conditions are acceptable. Position induction plates according to the CSA A123.21 wind uplift test reports or publications according to FM4470. Screw the induction plates down to the structural deck. Make sure the plates are pressed firmly against the support, but be careful not to over-tighten them or the plates could dig into the support panel and become difficult or impossible to induction weld. Before installing the membranes, check that the substrate is dry, clean, and free of any debris, oil, grease, or dirt. It is important to know that PVC is incompatible with bitumen. Any contact between these two materials must therefore be avoided. Unroll the membrane in place on the substrate in order to dissipate the tensions accumulated during manufacturing and to facilitate its installation. Side and end laps must be a minimum of 75 millimeters to allow a continuous hot air seal of 38 millimeters. The corners of the end laps must be cut to limit over thicknesses. The membrane below the overlap should be cut at an angle, while the corner of the membrane above the overlap should be slightly rounded. Fasten the membranes to the perimeter of the roof using membrane screws and plates. Depending on job site conditions, fasteners can be installed horizontally on the field surface as shown in the video. They can also be installed vertically at the base of the parapet using a metal fastening bar as in this illustration. About induction welding, you should know that test welding should always be carried out before starting to use the machine on roofing membranes. Weld at least three plates using different settings for each. Once the plates have cooled, pull the membrane so as to tear it away from the plates. Once the membrane is removed, consider which of the settings best suits the job site conditions. A satisfactory weld is produced when the PVC detaches uniformly from the reinforcement, leaving a residue of PVC stuck to the plate. You are now ready to weld the PVC membranes on the induction plates of the roof. Using a specialized induction magnet, locate the plates under the membrane. Center the induction machine on the plate you have located and activate the induction welding machine. Do not move the machine until the end of the welding cycle. When the cycle is complete, remove the machine and immediately place a magnet on the plate until it is cooled down. Repeat these steps on all the plates on the roof. Now let's see how to treat membrane overlaps. The use of a welding cart and an electric hot air welder will be required. First of all, we recommend that you perform test welding each time your welding equipment is stopped and restarted or when there is a change in climate conditions. To do so, turn on your device and wait until it reaches the desired temperature. Use membrane scraps and weld them together. Once the sample has cooled, pull the two pieces of membrane apart. A satisfactory weld is produced when the PVC uniformly delaminates from the reinforcing fabric and has a minimum width of 38 millimeters. Before welding the joints, be sure to clean them thoroughly with a non-greasy cleaner. You are now ready to weld all overlaps using an electric hot air welding cart. Use the hot air welder for tighter spots and details. Check the quality of your welds by sliding a probe along all joints. If the tool penetrates a joint, 
Lift up that section and heat it again using an electric hot air welder. Use a membrane roller to adhere the section back in place. If you feel that the zone is still not well sealed, weld a piece of membrane to cover it. At intersections of more than three layers of PVC membranes, weld Sentinel T-joint patches. That's it. Those are the installation steps for induction welding Sentinel PVC membranes to the field surface of a roof.